the sound which everybody loves to hear. Deal or no deal, play it again, sitting gloriously in its purple shell. And I mention the colour of that shell because peeking through a pub window in this particular era and seeing a purple shell, you could bet your bottom dollar it would be a play it again. Now, I talk about peeking through windows and people probably thinking, why are you even doing that? Well, a very, like I wouldn't say a trick, a little method of sometimes checking fruit machines um, to prevent the interaction with bar staff, especially landlords and landladies, and that awkward conversation of walking in, you know, glancing your 360 vision around to check the fruit machines, whilst also trying to do some impeccable acting of where is my mate, where is the toilet, can I get some directions please? Or if a pub is very fire, you know, and you could see the fruit machines from the window, why go into them when you can just look through? So yeah, the purple shell, very identifiable. So much too, I'd say that this is the carcass of its predecessor, the Deal or No Deal 4 Reeler. But saying all that, if we saw one of these from the window, we'd be going into play it. And that is because it was a fantastic little number, a great little game. Now, as I've talked about in previous episodes, and Bell Fruit as a company releasing these Deal or No Deals, they were always trying to create new concepts. Now this particular game, in my memory serves me well, was a 35 uh, and it was upgraded to 70 and it didn't last particularly long in the pubs. Uh, I have no idea why it didn't stay around for longer, uh, but one week they were there, next week they weren't uh, and yeah, they soon quickly disappeared off the face of the earth. And to that as well, I'd go to say it's quite a rare game in comparison to other Deal or No Deal releases. Some parts of the UK probably never saw one of these, whereas others had quite a few. But all that in a nutshell, there were quite a few of them about, and they were great, great games. Now, Deal or No Deal Play It Again, what does that mean? Well, you could probably see here this big button here. Um, it says Play It Again. <laughs> um, all that... When that button was acti activated or active to press, all it meant was that when you're playing Deal or No Deal, you could press that button and it would bank the amount on the Deal or No Deal and then restart the game. So it was a sort of like double bubble, if you might uh, might want to call it that. Um, and with that as well, the Deal or No Deal segments, these LED squares, were upgradable. Something which were never uh, a concept being released before. This was probably the first example of that and you could upgrade them via these box boost squares. Um, Crazy Chair, in fact, and those ones might have been released before these. I can't actually remember, to be honest, but it was um, quite an early concept because this here was um, utilised by lots of deals uh, in years to come. But all this saying, this Play It Again button, this Deal or No Deal, the ability to upgrade these values and then maybe, you know, press this button to double bubble the deal or no deal was pretty irrelevant. I mean, there was cases and scenarios where you could play the deal, but in a nutshell, and what this video is going to show is how you can trap jackpot twice uh, out of this game using this bonus square. Now, this bonus square is situated in the top right hand corner of the board was the bread or butter on how to trap this game. And systematically, in previous games um, gone by, landing on bonus squares, normally, you know, they work from bottom to top. I.e., you land on it once, it starts on boost. You high-low it, it goes up to back three. You then hit start and it goes back there and you're now on add again. That's what previous games did. This did not do that. This game here actually um, was just like a, a random selection. Even though it wasn't random, the machine knew what it was giving you, it would just flicker and then choose one. Which means that having no phones active, you could land on that bonus square, it lands on deal or no deal at the top, and then lo and behold, you've activated deal or no deal. So the bonus square was something which was different, a bit unique, um, and can be quite frustrating because you needed to get um, a different, well, a couple of different things off that. Each board differed, the scenario uh, differed, but basically you could. When you get a certain um, different bonus, maybe skill stop, um, add again, move back three sometimes, all these things, you could trap this for jackpot. And the machine did not see it. It did not know what it was doing. It got itself in a right muddle. And lo and behold, you could make this game give you that mega streak 
before it ever wanted to give you Mega Streak. You could do that on two separate stakes as well. So what I mean by stakes, for those that don't play machines too often, you can play this on 25p, 50p and a pound. And deal or no deals, in this early era, uh, and I'd go to say that maybe this was one of the first ones, or one of the earlier ones, that you could independently double stake the game. You could take jackpot out on multiple stakes basically. Um, 25p stake was separate to the 50p in a pound and that was highlighted in the previous video episode 24 on deal and ideal bankers bonus and this one here was no different. You could take a jack power 25p and then once you've got that jackpot out, uh, jump it up to uh, a pound maybe. I, I used to play these on uh, I think a pound, like I said a long long time ago, um, I might have played them on 50p but you could take two jackpots out of this. And uh, once you've done that, uh, sometimes uh, you can get stuff off the cash or bust, sometimes you can get an extra deal. It all depended on the scenario and how buzzy the machine was. Of course, this could do natural gold away, which was completely separate too, and an absolute Brucey bonus. These were a good, good game. Um, to that end as well, there was a couple of big telltale signs to see when this game was ready. You didn't have to just go to one of these and play these from um, from dead or blind. Um, you needed to see if they had value in. Deal or no deal bankers bonus, the previous episode, you could actually do one from dead and you wouldn't lose too much money because of the huge scale of amount, the amount of money you're going to be getting off the, uh, off the double banking. And if you haven't seen that episode, please check it out. It's a great, great trick um, that worked back in 12, 13 years ago. Uh, one that made a tidy penny. Um, this one was no different. Um, this one was different. I mean, um, there wasn't that huge amount of money that you could get. So you had to gauge. You had to time. You had to see if this had value. And the way that you could do that was a couple of ways. For me personally, I would put this on 25p. I would play it on 25p and get a couple of feature boards. If the cash wasn't boosting too high. Um, you know it hasn't got much value in. Um, like if it drops in for example on 25p some grapes for two quid you hit start and you land on cash and it boosts some cash up to four quid and some red cash as well then you go to say that that's got value in and I'm playing this. Um, and you could play this on 25p as well and get it juiced. Another little thing which later on was a huge huge little method of getting early deal or no deals. But um, yeah that was one of the biggest telltale signs. Another one as well was these reels would go red or these numbers, not the actual reels, but these numbers down the side. You can see that they're flickering white and red, um, the win line value, so one to five. They would go red. It would actually make a noise, the machine, when it did that. Uh, but again, there you go, you can see the red there. It might go around and do it again now. There you go, the red. Um, that would just meant that if you got a board, it would just open up deal or no deal straight away. Um, because on a pound here, phones in view as they are now um, didn't mean anything, just gave you the feature board. But if they were red, um, it would obviously open the deal on no deal. So that's uh, pretty much everything about the game. Um, let's just get the jackpot out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, pause the video, put some credits in and just see if it's got value in. Okay, So I'm going to put it on 25p as I would and just see if it's got value in. If it has, um, I will uh, double stake the bad boy. In fact, I mean, like, I'm going to juice it up anyway to show you how it's done. So, yeah, um, what I'll do actually, change of plan, I will just bring you back uh, on 25p when it's dealing and we go from there. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, then, so I've got a few boards and it is certainly deal or no dealing. So, I'm going to put some more money in, drop it to 25p stake. In fact, I'm going to put a tenner in. Um, 11 quid and we'll go from there so what do we need to do then well as I discussed a minute ago uh, the bonus square was the bread or butter for this trick so all we're doing is trying to get a feature board and then we're going to be getting um, uh, the bonus square so that's the uh, the main first goal so I'll go lower than that it should survive there you go so it's phoning what we want to do is land on a three perfect okay, and I've got an extra life Okay, so I'm going to go high on this three, and I'm going to try and get a skill stop, okay? Oh, don't want to boost all them. Right, 
So do not know deal there will push another red fine. So I don't really want that yet. I want to get a skill start. Which I don't think it's going to do now. Because um, I've got too many red fines. Oh, there you go. Skill start. Sometimes it blocks it because it it sees that you're two away. But anyway, I've got the skill start. All I need now is a 1 or a 12. That's literally it. A 5. So that's going to boost to um, the cash. Um... I'm going to go high on this five, uh, 4 for the 5. Cash combo. So it's got value in the bust. Okay. So this was another way you could get it. If I was on like a, a 1 or a 12 there. And there was 1 above. Or an add again. Um, yeah. I could get it again. So survive this. There we go. Right. So it doesn't see that 1. And it, it forgets where you are. <laughs> And this is the bizarre thing. I mean, I got a little bit lucky for that surviving there. But I could go like this. So I can take this. I could go around to the phone. Didn't really matter. Eh? I could go nudges. It's fantastic. There you go. And I can go hide in that one. Exactly the same way. But I mean, like, I mean, I should have just really gone around to the, uh, the phone there and had four red phones. But just like that first board. I know I've got it dealing, well, it only costs seven quid to get dealing, but just like that, trapped. Does not know that one's there, forgets everything. Okay, so all we do now is take the Mega. We'll just highlight that because it'll just boost that. There you go, done. 25p stake done. So then all we do now is we knock it up to a pound and we go again simple as that so it's done a flat uh, Flat 70, which is what we're expecting anyway. Um, we'll jump it up to a pound and we go again. So, should be phoning straight away because the stakes are separate. Hello. There you go. So, red reel straight away. Um, and I'm going to hold for the feature. It's fantastic. And lo and behold, stakes are separate. Wow, I weren't expecting that. So there's nothing I can do with this board because even if it lands on that bonus square, it's not gonna. It, it can't. It can't give me anything extra here. So I'll go high up four and it will kill me. Yeah. Um, if it was two away, would have been a different story. But yes, it's absolutely flying. Stakes are separate. Um, hopefully, we get it quite quickly. So it didn't open up a deal or no deal then because of the um, of the reels not being red. And it boosted the deal or no deal because obviously the wind lines. Three please. Okay, so I'm going to cancel the nudges here. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna dip me again with another thing. I'm just gonna go low in the ten. So proof in the pudding that's not jackpot ready because that would have survived that ten. So it's just absolutely flying. <laughs> so we just need to get the bonus square. That's like that's the key thing on this game. Okay, so I'm going to have to take that ad again. Yeah. So, a bit frustrating here. I'm going to take that bonus. And I'm going to go high in the six. Hope it survives. An extra life, really. Okay, 
Yeah, it's not really much I could do there. Um, what I could have done is I could have kept the deal or no deal and uh, moved around the board and trying to accumulate some more phones. Uh, you can trap it that way. Um, but it's much more difficult and complicated that way. Comparison to the the add again, skill start, all that, it's so much easier. So this won't stop dealing on the pounds. Once it's once it's thrown on the pound, it's remains there. All right, there's a skill stop. So I've got a lot of work to do here. Uh, I need some phones. Ah, right, see, what it could have done there was only boost one red phone and then rolled a one. There you go, got it again. It's mad how it forgets. It forgets that one. It just forgets it. It, it doesn't know the bonus. And then, yeah, lo and behold, another jackpot. It's fantastic. And that is deal or no deal, play it again, done. It's fantastic. So. Mega streak again on this. Mega streak can go on, by the way. It can carry on. I mean, what was I in? Like a tenner. And I've got a 130 bank. Um, both both scenarios on this was done through skill start, but there are plenty of ways of getting jackpot on this. You can get it from the move back three. So. let this count up and finish so done a flat 70 um, so for example the move back three so let's say you was on cash it rolled a one there and went move back three um, you might be two away honestly it doesn't see the one so you can move back three back to that and then higher. You can do it off the deal or no deal like I had the board before getting the jackpot on that one. You can do it off add again. You can have an extra life um, and also have a skill stop on a two, for example. And then you skid it round and then land on that and then go higher and then it kills you and then go higher than a one. There's plenty of ways, there's, there's loads of ways. It was nice to get it off the nudges because that's something I used to um, get it off quite frequently. Um, but uh, yeah, you can trap it for the goal away, the mega streak, the cash. <laughs> it's a great, great little number. And a £120 raise, I believe that was, on this game. Um, massive money in that day and age. Right, please whack in the comments like always your experiences and how you uh, enjoyed the game, things you did differently as well. Um, I know people will say, yeah, there's cash or bust, yeah, there's some other bits. I don't want to delve into too much information with all that um, because, um, yeah, it's, it's relevant, but, I mean, this is just the main core concept. Um, but, yeah, any experiences, any um, things I've missed, like I said, and, of course, what you thought of the video. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Ta-da.